If you spend a little time along Montana's waterways, there's a good chance you'll spot a great blue heron. And if you're a fisherman or work in a fish hatchery, they may not be your favorite bird because of their reputation as having quite an appetite. But for artists, the great blue heron is a favorite because of their elaborate plumage and elegance in flight. Great blue herons usually nest in colonies known as rookeries. Both parents tend the young. Great blue herons can be confused with cranes. They're both long-legged birds. If you're looking at one of those long-legged birds in flight and he has his neck stretched out, you're probably looking at a crane, a sandhill crane in Montana probably. If he's got his neck tucked in, you're looking at a great blue heron in flight. Uh, great blue herons are primarily fish eaters, but they're not opposed to going on land and hunting for voles or other small mammals. They are known to take uh, prey items that are a little bit large, and when they do so, they often will take that prey over to the, say a large fish, they'll take that over to the shore uh, where they'll make sure that their prey is uh, good and dead and relaxed so that they can get it all the way down the hatch. As it is with most birds, mortality among young is high. Only 30% of the blue heron chicks will make it through their first year. But for the great blue herons that make it to adulthood, it's common for those birds to live 15 years, with documented cases of them living 23 years in the wild. This is Mike Gurnett, out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.